हेलो डियर ऑल वेलकम टू संदय एजुकेशन अकेडमी आई एम संतोष वाघ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व ऑल वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 2.4 चैप्टर सेकंड मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ क्लास 8 नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 अमीना थिंक्स ऑफ अ नंबर एंड सबट्रैक्ट्स 5 बाय 2 फ्रॉम इट सी मल्टीप्लाइज द रिजल्ट बाय 8 The result now obtained is three times the same number C thought of. What is the number? In the question, number is asked and some conditions are given. So we will start our solution. First, let's assume. Let's assume the number. Number is. Let's assume number is x. so from the conditions given in the uh, word problem number subtract 5 by 2 from it so we will subtract 5 by 2 x minus 5 by 2 and c multiply the result by 8 so multiply it by 8 so the answer will be three times the same number c thought of c thought number x so answer will be 3x as given in the problem this is our linear equation we will solve it solve the bracket first it will be 8x minus 5 by 2 into 8 equal to 3x in the next step transfer this 3x here so it will be 8x minus 3x as it has a positive sign after changing sign it will be minus and equal to 2 and 8 so let it will be minus 5 into 4 and transfer this from this side it will be plus 20 so solving this it will be 5x equal to 20 and x will be 20 by 5 so value of x is equal to 4 and as we assume the number is x so number is x so here we are getting the value of x so our answer will be the number answer is the number is 4 now see the next question question number 2 a positive number is 5 times another number if 21 is added to both the numbers then one of the new numbers becomes twice the other number what are the numbers now again to start solution we will assume something what we will assume we will assume the number the number is x this is our first assumption what is our first assumption x and given positive number is 5 times another number means means another number is 5x this is our first assumption this is our second assumption as per condition given in the problem now one more condition is given if 21 is added to both numbers we will add 21 now see the conditions given in the problem if we add 21 to both numbers x plus 21 and 5x plus 21 first number is x second number is 5x we are adding 21 to both sides and the one number is becoming twice the another number this number 5x plus 21 will become twice this number we will solve this solution 2x plus 42 equal to 5x plus 21 transfer this 2x there and 21 here 42 minus 21 equal to 5x 42 minus 21 equal to 5x minus 2x so here will be 3x and here will be 21 so we will get transfer this 3 here 21 by 3 equal to x so 
value of x will be 7 and another number this is a first number the number is x so another number another number will be 5x time 7 into 5 that is 35 so our answers are first number first number is 7 and second number is equal to 35 this is our final answer now see the third question question number 3 sum of the digits of two digit number is 9 when we interchange the digits it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27 what is the two digit number now see the solution in the question well, it is asked what is the two digit number now see we will assume a two digit number in which unit place unit place of number unit place of number is x so is 10 place 10 place of number equal to from the condition given in the problem that is a sum of two digits of a sum of the di sum of the digits of two digit number is 9 unit place is x so 10th place of number is 9 minus x because sum is 9 now second condition when we interchange the digit now in the second condition we will interchange the digits unit place will go in 10th place and 10th place number will be, will be in unit place so in the when we reverse in reverse condition in reverse condition unit place unit place of number that will be unit place of number will be 9 minus x and 10th place number will be x what is given new number is greater than the original number by 27 so what will be the value here we will write the value of number that is value of number that is in first condition value of the number will be this is the 10th place so we will multiply it by 10 and digit is 9 minus x plus unit place is x so we will write as it is x that is 90 minus 10x plus x that will be 90 minus 9x this is our first number in the reverse condition the value of value of number we will multiply the 10th place by 10 that is 10x plus unit place as it is 9 minus x we will get 10x minus x plus 9 that is 10x minus x that is 9x plus 9 this will be our second number and relation is given the resulting new number is greater than the original by 27 so this 9x plus 9 this is new number hmm? that is greater than by 27 so we will add 27 to the original number original number is 90 minus 9x that is the original number this is the equation we got to derive any equation we must condition we must consider all conditions given in the problem we have derived this linear equation we will solve it 9x plus 9 plus 90 minus 9x so we will transfer this 9x here 
9 x plus 9 x equal to we will transfer 9 here is 27 plus 90 minus 9 what will be the answer 9 x plus 9 x it is 18 x equal to 27 plus 90 minus 9 that will be 108 and if we solve it x equal to 108 by 18 x value will be 6 now we have assumed unit place of number as x so what will be the answer numbers equal to unit place is 6 and summation of the two digits as unit place is 6 10th place must be 3 because summation of these two digits is 9 so our number is 36 now see the question number 4 one of the two digits of two digit number is three times the other digit if you interchange the digits of this two digit number and add the resulting number to the original number you get 88 what is the original number again in the solution we will assume the two digits number we will assume so we will assume unit place unit place of number as x then what will be the tenth place as it is given three times the other digit three times of the means tenth place tenth place of number equal to 3x so so we will calculate the value of number value of number we will multiply the 10th place by 10 so it will be 3x into 10 that is 30x and unit place as it is so number value of number is 31x now in the next condition if you interchange the digits of two digit numbers and add the resulting number to the original number you get 88 now we will interchange the number new number for new number interchange the digits so unit place unit place will be 3x and 10th place 10th place will be x what will be the value value of number will be we will multiply 10th place by 10 10x and unit place as it is 3x so number will be 13x this new number new number value new number value is 13x and condition is given add the resulting number to the original number we will add what is the first number first number is 31 31x plus this new number 13x so if we add the result is 88 and then solve this 31 plus 13 that is 44x equal to 88 and we will get x equal to 88 divided by 44 so value of x equal to 2 this is the value of x now calculate the numbers unit place is x so number unit place is x that is 2 what is the condition is given the two digits number the three times the other digits three times other digits 2 is the unit place three times of the other digits that is 6 62 this is the first possibility see this is the first possibility first possibility here in the question is given one of the two digits one of the two digits this or this the relation is given 
that one of the two digits is three times the other digit so number second possibility can be what is the second possibility that is unit place we can write as a 6 and 10 plus 26 second possibility is also there that is 26 so numbers can be 62 or 26 because both numbers are satisfying the conditions given in the problem so our answers are two numbers first number may be 62 or this number can be 26 now see the question number 5 so both mother's present age is 6 times so both present age so both age 5 years from now will be one third of his mother's present age what are their present ages let's start our solution we will assume We will assume Sobo's present age as x, x years. Then what will be the mother's present age? It is 6 times. So, Sobo's So mother's present age is 6 times that is 6x years. This is given in the word problem it said. In the next condition, 5 years from now, see what is the second condition? 5, five years from now. What is given? 5 years from now. Shobo's age will be x plus 5 years and mother's age will be 6x plus 5. But what is given in the problem? Shobo's age 5 years from now will be one third of his mother's present age. So Sobo's age after 5 years that is x plus 5 equal to 1 third 1 by 3 present age of mother present age is 6x into 6x here we we will not consider mother's age after 5 years because in the problem given the present age of mother present age of mother is 6x so this is the equation we got from the conditions given in the problem so we will solve this x plus 5 into 1 by 3 into 6x so it will be x plus 5 equal to 2x as 3 and 6 solving this we will get 2x solve this x plus 5 plus x plus 5 equal to 2x we will transfer this x 5 as it is 2x minus x so value of x will be 5. So our answer is x as we have assumed so was present age. So answer will be what, is, what are their present ages? Answer is uh, question in the question ages of both are asked. So Sobo so was present age equal to 5 years and mother and mother present age equal to what will be it will be 30 years because it is 6 times so was age so this is our final answer so was present is 5 years mother's present age is 30 years now see the next question question number six there is a narrow rectangular plot resort for a school in mahuli village the length and breadth of the plot are in the ratio 11 is to 4 
एट द रेट रुपीज हंड्रेड पर मीटर इट विल कॉस्ट द विलेज पंचायत रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू फेंच द प्लॉट वॉट आर द डायमेंशन ऑफ द प्लॉट नाउ लेट स्टार्ट आवर सोल्यूशन हियर द रेशो इज गिवन इले वन इज टू फोर सो वी कैन अज्यूम द आवर लेंथ एंड ब्रेड इन द रेशो इलेवन इज टू फोर सो लेट्स अज्यूम द लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट लेंथ इज मोर ब्रेड इज स्मॉल सो लेट्स अज्यूम लेंथ एज इलेवन एक्स सो ब्रेड इज ब्रेड ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट इक्वल टू फोर एक्स हाउ इज द रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट इज लाइक दिस दिस इज द लेंथ इट इज इलेवन एक्स एंड दिस इज द ब्रेड दिस इज अ फोर एक्स एज पर द कंडीशन गिवन सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू फेंच द प्लॉट मीन्स we must calculate the perimeter of the plot so we will calculate the perimeter and what is the formula for perimeter add all the sides so he it is a rectangular so both sides will be opposite sides will be equal so it will be 2 times 11x plus 4x and that will be 30x this is a perimeter in the problem given that it will cost 75000 to fence the plot that is the total cost and cost is given rupees 100 per meter we are getting the 30x meter perimeter 30x meter so for per meter it is costing 100 rupees so total cost so total cost to fence the plot perimeter into rate what is the rate 100 rupees per meter so it will be 3000 x that will be rupees and also it is given rupees 75 thousand is given so 3000 x equal to 75000 we will calculate this x equal to 75000 divided by 3000 so it will be x equal to 25 here we are getting the value of x and what we have assume length of the rectangular plot as 11x so our answers How will be our our answers? Length is length equal to twenty five into eleven. Length is twenty five into eleven. That will be two seventy five, and unit will be meter because unit is given meter. Well, we are considering it as a per meter, so unit is meter. and breadth is breadth equal to 4x that is 4 into 25 so it will be 100 meter this is our answers what is asked in the questions dimensions of the plot dimension of plot length is 275 meter and breadth is 100 meter question number 7 Hassan buys two kinds of cloth materials for school uniforms shirt material that cost him rupees 50 per meter and trouser material that cost him rupees 90 per meter for every 3 meter of shirt material he buys 2 meter of trouser material he sells the material at 12% and 10% profit respectively his total sale is rupees 36600 how much trouser material did he buy now see in the questions different things are given first 
is rupees thirty six thousand is sale. What is sale? We will write here. Sale is thirty six thousand six hundred rupees. Okay. Then profit is given. Profit is given twelve percent and ten percent respectively. Means twelve percent for short material and ten percent for trouser material. And what is the rate is given? What is rate is given? That is rupees fifty for short and this is for short and rupees ninety for trouser. And one more thing is given. That is the ratio of short material and trouser material is given. For every three meter of short material, he buys two meters of trouser material. There is ratio of ratio of material is given. That is a three is to two. Three meter of short, then two meter of trouser. This is the ratio. If he buys six meter of short, he will buy four meter of trouser. That means he he buys. In the ratio of three to two. Now we will start our solution. First, what we will consider? We will consider let short material, short material, he buys is equal to three x meter. Why we have considered three x? Because three is to two is ratio given. So we can consider trouser material, trouser material length that he buys equal to two x. To simplify our solution, we have considered three x for short material, so that we can consider two x for the trouser material as ratio three is to two is given in the problem this is our first assumption now see in the next 12% profit 10% profit is given but for before that we must calculate the selling price and cost price consider the formula you know that is the selling price equal to cost price plus profit okay we will calculate cost price see cost price cost price of shirt okay what will be cost price of shirt rate is given 50 rupees per meter for shirt and total we are getting 3x meter of shirt material so its cost will be 3x into 50 That is equal to 150x. This is in rupees. This is cost. Similarly, cost of cost price of trouser. It will be 2x into what is the rate of trouser? This is given. That is 90 rupees. See, this is the 90 rupees per meter is given. And how much meter we are taking? We are taking two x meter for trouser, so its cost will be one eighty x. This is in also in rupees. We have calculated the cost price. Now we will calculate the profit. Profit of shirt. Profit for shirt material. This is given twelve percent. Twelve percent profit is given. So we will write twelve percent means twelve divided by hundred, and its cost is one fifty x. Cost price is one fifty x. So to calculate profit, we must multiply it percentage of profit. So it will be fifty to the hundred, fifty three to one fifty, two one to two two six to twelve. So it will be eighteen. And x as it is x. This is a profit of short material. Okay. And similarly, profit for profit for 
trouser it will be what is the profit percentage this is a 10 percent given so it will we will write 10 divided by 100 and what is the cost cost is 180 x so simplifying this 0 0 we will cancel 10 10 will cancel it will remain 18 x this is a profit for trouser now this is a cost price this is the profit now we will calculate selling price SP for shirt. Selling price, cost price plus profit. What is the cost price for shirt? This is a 150x and profit is 18x. So it will be 168x. This is a selling price of shirt and selling price of selling price for trouser it will be what is the CP CP for trouser 180 X plus profit is also 18 X so it will be 198 X yes we have calculated the selling price now see selling price is given rupees 36600 in the word problem so we will add these two prices to get 36600 what will be our equation 168 is the selling price of shirt selling price of shirt plus selling price of trouser and it is given in the problem that is 36,600 rupees so we will put these values 168x plus 198x equal to 36,600 we got this equation but now see to get this equation we use the different things given in the problem which things shirt material length trouser material length relation is given 3 to 2 then cost price profit and selling price okay we got this equation and solve this equation add 168 plus 198 it will be 6 6 3 x equal to 36600 very simple x will be 36600 divided by 366 because it is here in multiply it will go in, in division so very simple calculation we can cancel 366 it will be 100 so x value will be 100 x value is equal to 100 what is asked in the question how much trouser material did he buy now we have assumed trouser material as a 2x meter are you getting so our answer our answer will be trouser material trouser material he buys equal to 2 into x value is 100 it will be 200 meter this is our final answer trouser material he buys is equal to 200 meter question number 8 Half of herd of deer are grazing in the field and the three fourth of the remaining are playing nearby. The rest nine are drinking water from the pond. Find the number of deer in the herd. We will start our solution. First we will assume let, let the number of 
डियर्स इन द हर्ड आर एक्स एक्स नंबर आर डियर्स इन द हर्ड नाउ सी हियर दी वट इज द गिवन हाफ ऑफ द डियर्स आर ग्रेजिंग लेट्स अजूम वी विल अजूम इट पिक्टोरियली सपोज दिस इज अ फिगर दैट इंडिकेट्स नंबर ऑफ डियर्स इन द हर्ड वट इज गिवन हाफ ऑफ द डियर्स आर ग्रेजिंग मीन्स वी विल मार्क एज अ हाफ दिस पोर्शन दिस पोर्शन ऑफ डियर्स आर ग्रेजिंग ओके देन वट इज द नेक्स्ट गिवन द थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग मीन्स ओनली दिस पोर्शन एंड थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ दिस आर प्लेइंग नियर बाय थ्री फोर्थ पर्सेंटेज ऑफ दिस पोर्शन हाफ पोर्शन ऑफ दिस एंड टेक थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ दिस हाफ पोर्शन हाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ थ्री फोर्थ वी मेक दिस हाफ एंड दिस हाफ सो दिस मच पोर्शन थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ हाफ आर यू गेटिंग दिस मच पोर्शन दिस मच पोर्शन इज प्लेइंग आर यू गेटिंग फर्स्ट वॉट इज गिवन हाफ पोर्शन इज ग्रेजिंग एंड थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ रिमेनिंग दिस इज अ दिस इज अ थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ रिमेनिंग आर यू गेटिंग दिस इज थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ रिमेनिंग आर प्लेइंग हाफ आर ग्रेजिंग टोटल ऑफ हाफ आर ग्रेजिंग रिमेनिंग थ्री फोर्थ आर प्लेइंग and what is given the rest nine this portion is rest only this portion is rest and these are these are nine numbers this is given nine numbers these are drinking are you getting the pictorial view now we will put it in the equation we have assumed number of deers as x c half are grazing means x by 2 these are grazing okay then 3/4 of the remaining half are grazing means x by 2 are remaining okay x by 2 are grazing x by 2 are remaining and 3/4 of this 3/4 of this means 3 by 4 into x by 2 these are playing This is x by two are grazing, x by two are grazing. Three fourth of remaining are playing. Means three by four into x by two are playing. That is three x by eight are playing. We got two terms. How much are grazing? X by two are grazing. Three x by eight are playing, and the remaining are nine. These are drinking. remaining deers are drinking here the nine number is given so we will use this so we will put this in the equation how will be the equation total r x that must be equal to x must be equal to these are grazing numbers deer those are grazing x by 2 then playing how much are playing these are 3 x by 8 are playing and nines are drinking if we add all these this must be x because we have assumed total number of deer as x and this is our equation linear equation we will solve it first transfer all terms with variables on one side and constants on another side how it will be we have derived this question and this equation total number of deer x equal to number of deer those are grazing plus number of deer those are playing and remaining nine so we will solve this equation we will transfer all the terms which are in variable in one side so next step is x minus transfer this x by 2 then again transfer this 3x by 8 here it will be also minus 
थ्री एक्स बाय एट बिकॉज वी आर चेंजिंग द साइज एंड वट इज रिमेनिंग नाइन एज इट इज सो टू एड दिस वी मस्ट हैव अ कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर सो एल सी एम विल बी एट सो हियर वी विल पुट एट नाउ टू गेट एट हियर वी मस्ट मल्टीप्लाई एट बोथ साइज बाय एट सो इट विल बी एट एक्स हियर वी मस्ट मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय फोर सो इट विल बी माइनस फोर एक्स एंड हियर एज इट इज बिकॉज एट इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो वी विल पुट माइनस थ्री एक्स दीज आर द बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स एंड नाइन एज इट इज सॉल्व दिस विल गेट एट एक्स माइनस सेवन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एट इक्वल टू नाइन सो वट विल बी द नेक्स्ट वी विल ट्रांसफर दिस एट फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर it is here in division so it will be in multiplication position so 8x minus 7x that is only x equal to 9 into 8 so that will be 72 here we are getting the value of x 72 and what we have them let the number of deers be x so answer is number of deers in the herd equal to 72 this is our final answer now let's tally by this pictorial view whether we are whether we get the same answer this is the total x half are grazing remaining remaining of the half 3/4 the playing and this portion which is remain it is a 1/4 of the half that is a 9 so see 1/4 of the half this is the 9 then this portion should be 9 this portion should be 9 and this portion should be 9 are you getting i will draw this figure once again this half are this half are grazing then we divide it in four parts remaining half and this is 9 given so this should be 9 this should be 9 and this should be 9 if these are nines this is 36 is the half then this half will be 36 so total will be 72 and same is the answer number of deers in the herd are 72 now see the next question question number 9 The grandfather is ten times older than his granddaughter. He is also fifty-four years older than her. Find their present ages. Means ages of both are asked in the question. We will start solution by assuming granddaughter, granddaughter age. Equal to x years. So, what will be the age of grandfather? Grandfather age will be ten x years. Also, one more condition is given. He is also fifty four years older than her. Means this ten x is age of grandfather. But he is also 54 years older. So what will be the, our equation? Is 10x age of grandfather equal to age of granddaughter x is age of granddaughter age is x. So 10x equal to x plus 54. As condition is given, he is also 54 years older. Then solving this, 10x minus x equal to 54. So 9x equal to 54. Solve this. X equal to 54 divided by 9. So x equal to 6. We are getting the value of variable, and what we have assumed granddaughter age. So our answers will be age of age of granddaughter equal to Six years, and an age of 
grandfather that is six times ten times granddaughter that is sixty years this is also satisfying the condition as he is fifty four years older than granddaughter this is our final answer now see the question number ten Amon's age is three times his son's age. Ten years ago, he was five times his son's age. Find their present ages again. Here, ages of both are us. So, we will start our solution, and we will assume son age. Amon's son's age is x years. So, from the condition given, Amon's age must be 3x. Amon's age must be as it is given. It is three times son's age. This is the first condition. Now, 10 years ago means before 10 years. Before 10 years, what is son age? Son age is x minus 10. And what is Amon's age? What is Amon's age? That is 3x minus 10 before 10 years. And relation is given. 10 years ago, he was 5 times. Who Amon's age was? 5 times greater than sun's age. So our equation will be Amon age is, is 3x minus 10. This is age before 10 years. It is 5 times is sun's age. X minus 10. This will be our equation. Solving this 3x minus 10. Solve this bracket 5x minus 50. So transfer this. 5x here 3x minus 5x equal to minus 50 plus 10 as sine of minus you will get positive solve this minus 2x equal to minus 40 minus minus will get cancelled so x will be 40 divided by 2 x will be 20 here we are getting the value of x what we have assumed sun age is x so our answers what will what will be our answers son age is equal to 20 years and amon age is equal to 60 years because he is three times son's age 60 years this is our final answer this is all about this video we will meet again in our next video. Do learn, do enjoy. Thank you.